Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the continuing series of the Smart PLS for Research and Analysis. Now, in the uh, my name is Derek Ong. In the previous videos, I have uh, continued and um, explained to you about step one, two, and three of the assessing the structural assessment uh, of the uh, model APLS. And in this video, I'm going to be looking at step number four, which is calculating the effect size. So effect size is generally the amount of variance each exogenous variables uh, contributes to the endogenous model. So how the effect size is calculated is through this particular formula here where we take the r squared included which is the full model minus the r squared excluded where we take out the exogenous variable that we want to calculate divide over 1 minus r squared included this exogenous variable will uh, then of course uh, yielding the R squared included, which is the full model, and taking out the R squared excluded, which means we take out the latent variable excluded. And we're going to use the rule of thumb of 0 0.02 to 0 0.15 is to be effect, 0 0.15 to 35 as moderate, and anything above 0 0.35 uh, will be a strong effect, as uh, explained by Cohen, 1988. So we're going to use back the same. Um, Sorry, we're going to use back the same uh, PLS model, which is the smartphone data. Now, what we're going to do here is uh, we are going to calculate the R square using the calculate function for the R square included. And if you notice, the R square included here for the full model is 0 0.447. What I've done is I have created in the table the difference between the predictor and the endogenous variables uh, of ease of use, observability, and usefulness. And I'm going to put in the R square included now at 0 0.447, which is going to be the same for all three anyway. Now, oh, if you look at the model, there is no need for us to calculate the uh, predictive relevance and effect size for attitude because there's only one connection here because we are not going to compare attitude with any other variables unless of course uh, there are connections between the usefulness observability to intention and ease of use then we will have to reconsider calculating the effect size but at this point we don't have to so what do we do here ladies and gentlemen we need to now calculate the R square excluded for each of the exogenous variables taken out. So, first of all, let's take out ease of use, delete, calculate the PLS algorithm, start the calculation, and you notice that we now have a smartphone uh, R square of 0 0.411 so we put that in 0 0.411 observability remember to put in back undo the changes and put in back the variable because we do not want to forget about putting the variable in that's very important just make a note of it take out observability recalculate the PLS algorithm start the calculation and you have 0 0.401. So we're going to put in 0 0.401 here. And for usefulness, undo, delete usefulness, PLS algorithm, start the calculation, and you get 0 0.347 which we are going to put in here, 0 0.347. Now, with the um, uh, R square included and R square excluded put in, we now have to calculate the effect size, where we're using the formula of the R square included minus the R square excluded, divide over 1, sorry, 
1 minus the R squared included. And this, ladies and gentlemen, will give us the effect size. Just copy this into the values. And you notice that with a higher uh, T value, the F square is usually the highest as well. And this is quite in correspond to each other. And uh, what we will do now, ladies and gentlemen, is to ensure that uh, the one with the most highest beta will also be the one with the most highest uh, T value. And of course, with the highest uh, F square. Now, as you can see, all these F squares seems to have a moderate uh, effect size, but that's okay. Uh, just note that we have to make sure that there is always a consistency of our numbers uh, in terms of um, comparing the T value and the F square. So if you have any questions about this, please do email me and please watch the next video for predictive relevance. Thank you.